Active Campaign Annual Membership. In this video, we are not going to cover how to set up a membership site. I've already done that. There's a YouTube link there. It goes into depth of setting up a membership site on your own WordPress using Thrivecart for the checkout, Active Campaign for email, Active Member 360 is kind of the control membership plugin, and then Learn Dash. And then we also use Social Learner to set this up. But what I'm going to show you in this video today is how to extend the capability that I showed in there with regards to membership access. Here's my thinking. Somebody signs up for a member, your membership, and for whatever reason, they decide to cancel. You can do one of two things. You can cut off their access immediately, or you can allow them to have access till the end of the billing period. My suggestion is to allow them to have that access. So that way, you don't really have to refund. So for instance, if they bought an annual membership and two months in they decided to cancel, they might have a reason for wanting a refund. But if you give them access till the end of the year, then take it away, even though they canceled 10 months, 10 months earlier, to me that makes sense. But it's up to you. But I'm gonna show you in this video how to extend the capability that I showed in the membership site video previously. Now. To do this, I'm gonna break one of my own rules. And the rule is, in general, I like to copy and modify. So for instance, if I have a membership site available on a monthly basis, I would recommend duplicating everything and then modifying and making it an annual. Now, what I'm suggesting here is, you don't have to do all of that. Sure, you might duplicate the product, change it into a manual, annual membership, but you can reuse the automations that you already set up inside Active Campaign. So let me show you how that works. So here's the video, how to create a membership site and start selling your online courses in an afternoon. And there's details on exactly everything you need to do. You can jump to the exact place you wanna know what to do. But in this case, we're gonna be talking about the Active Campaign setup. And there's a few automations I wanna show you. So we have this first one, which is when they purchase the course, you wanna put them through this main automation. And in general, the first thing I like to do is clean up. In other words, remove any tags you don't want them to have. It might be interest or prospect. In this case, I've got one called customer dash product name dash inactive. I wanna remove that. Then I wanna add tags that are appropriate. So in this case, customer dash online course dash active and customer dash online course. Next up, put them onto a list. And then we want to put them into an automation that holds them in case they do cancel. Notice it says 30 days. We're going to change that a little bit. We're not going to change the name, but we're going to change the functionality. And then I typically put them into a welcome slash login email automation. Now, one thing you might want to do different if you're offering a um, monthly and an annual membership that's identical except for the time frame is when they purchase the annual membership, also apply a tag that basically says customer dash online course dash annual. That would be the one difference that you would do. So you're not going to do it here. You might do it directly in Thrivecart, but you want a way to identify somebody as an annual member. So this is the main purchase. And the thing I wanna point out is we immediately put them into this online course subscription cancel 30 day automation. That automation looks like this. <clears throat> wait 10 days, wait 10 days, wait 10 days, wait two days. And that's important. We wanna extend the time frame that um, we're allowing them to have access. And notice this is really 30 days. I just wanna break it up so if I wanna eyeball it and see how many people are in there. And then what we do is we check, do they have this tag called customer online course in active 30 days? And so far I haven't shown you that. If they do, then we make the appropriate tag change that changes their access to the membership based on active member 360. So in my case, I typically control access to this via this dash active tag. So if they have this tag, then we remove this tag and apply this. Otherwise we skip over. So that's that. Now here's the cancel. So if somebody cancels their subscription, Thrivecart, we wanna put them into this automation and all it does is apply this tag. So if you think about it, if they're on day 20, they cancel uh, right here, 
we're going to apply that tag. So when they get down to the bottom here, they're going to go down this path and this will remove access. This tag does not remove access. And then finally, this one's important too. This is the online course subscription pay. This automation fires when somebody makes a subscription payment. Notice what it's doing. First thing it does is it takes them out of the online course subscription cancel 30 days. Let's go back and look at this. So think about this. This should happen every 30 days. So if we look at this, <clears throat> 10, 10, 10, 10, but we give them a little buffer of two days. So if they make a payment and they're sitting here right here at day 30 or 31, they're going to get pulled out and they won't even go down this path. And that's what we want. If they, we don't want to change tags if they've paid. And then what we do after that is we change, we clean up tags. We get rid of the inactive 30 days if they had it. And we get rid of the inactive tag if they had it. And then we apply the active tag. And then we put them right back at the start of this here. So they're right back here looping through this again. They're just going to keep looping through this until they stop payment, they really cancel, and then we remove access. So think about this. Even though they've canceled somewhere around here, we're not actually going to take away access till they get down to here and we make some tag change. Now, let's take into account, well, what about if they're an annual member, okay? The one thing we want to do is make a change here. We're going to put a conditional statement. We're going to check to see, do they have the annual tag or not? So I'm going to put an if statement. So it's a condition. It's an if else. And in this account, I may or may not have this tag created. So I, I want to do a does not exist. So I'm going to look for annual and I don't think I have one thinking, nope, could not find it. So let's create one online course dash annual. So if they do not have that tag, what they do is they go down this yes path, which is what the normal one was going to be anyways. And now we have to do something over here, which is simply add a weight. We want it to add up to 365 plus two. So we've already got 30 days. So I'm gonna put in a 335 day wait. And yes, this really doesn't handle leap years, but we're just gonna live with it. That two day buffer at the end is gonna do what we want. And then we're gonna loop over to the yes leg. <clears throat> so this is it. This is the magic to share automations, share tags between a monthly and an annual membership. We want to just put a condition here that checks, do they have an annual tag or not? If they don't, go down the 30-day path. If they do, go down the 365-day path. So we've got that weight right there, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, which is 367 days. And if they cancel, well, they're going to have that tag, this dash 30-day inactive tag for a number of days before they get to here. And if you signed up for the guide I provided, uh, there's access to this tool right here, which will give you um, a list of tags and automations that you're going to want to create. So all you have to do is type in the, the name of the product, and then it will go ahead and create tag names and automations that you're going to want. Now, of course, it doesn't do the work for you. It just gives you, here's the naming structure. The one thing I'd suggest is under tags is you're going to want to have customer dash online course dash annual in addition to what's already listed here. So that's how you handle an annual membership inactive campaign.